Okay, Engine Performance Expo viewers, you know this guy. I know Don McCaskill. That's right. And we're back at Shavers. This time, you know, this old test mule of ours has told us a whole bunch, hasn't it, Don? You know, we, we have pretty much worn ourselves out trying to learn from this motor and, and trying to hurt it, and we just can't do it. It just keeps going and going and going. It's like the ever ready machine. It just won't stop. Exactly. And every time we do something, we're learning something new every single time. Right. You know, the, one of the recent things we learned this past year was the line-to-line -line skirt coating. I've heard about this stuff for mm -hmm. a long time, but we actually got to use it for the first time. On this particular engine. Right. And one of the reasons that we had to do this is because we went up and saw our good buddy Brad Legman uh, uh, up at QMP, and he gave us a perfect cylinder bore finish yes. for our test. Right. And because of that, we had a fairly new piston that was in there. for It's been in there for, for not that long. Yeah. Because he had to make the bore a little bigger, we had to do something to put a coating on the piston to compensate for the, the piston to wall clearance now in the past in the past when right. we have tried to do this it hasn't been very successful but these guys at line to line this was pretty good stuff like don was saying we, we opened that bore size up because we needed to get the surface finish right Correct. we had missed a little bit yeah. on that and we said we got the good surface finish but now our bore size is kind of in between right exactly. you didn't want to go order new pistons because the pistons are pretty new still yeah. you know what's cool is they were able to you know coat those skirts and add thickness to it to be able to compensate for that additional piston to wall right. clearance that would have been there. So now we have the right piston to wall clearance and it, what's neat, unique about it is it's abradable. So it's designed to wear off, but slightly. So it doesn't flake off in chunks. Right. It just kind of wears in and self fits. Right. And it was pretty cool to be able to see you know, we saw blow by wise by you know having that correct piston to wall clearance, mm -hmm. having the, the piston correct finish on this on the wall. Yep, all that together. It's the ring seal super I was talking and about, right? The ring seal, made the ring seal wonderful. Yes. Yeah, that and, was and all. We thing. proved that with the with the blow by meter. Exactly. Yeah, hooking this thing up, even though it's a dry sump. Yes, a wet, wet sump, sump engine, not a dry sump. Wet sump engine, but by hooking up the blow by meter to it, we can actually see it. And that ball was so low and so stable. Well, we thought it, was it wasn't really hooked up right at first because <laughs> we haven't seen measurements that low in a while. Now, through this ring evolution, we have gotten better and better. The total mm -hmm. seal ring is, is something we've been using for 40 some years, or right. however long they've been in business. Yeah. And we've always had really good luck with that. So, we, and, and we know that the, as far as blow by goes, it's been, it's, it's been very beneficial to especially our race motors. but. As you guys have progressed in the last couple of years, you've made it even better and better. And, and, and so when we were looking at this last test, with the blow-up meter, we're like, is it hooked up? <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. I mean, when it's bad, it's like 10 to pegging it, and this thing's hovering down there at two. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, so it was nice. You know, it was, we, the line-to-line -line thing was really great. It's a great tool to have in your arsenal, mm -hmm. being able to adjust piston-to-wall clearance without having to buy new pistons. Yes. You can reuse pistons. You can adjust your surface finish. You can do all those things to make that good ring seal soup. And it lasts for a while. Right. Really durable. Re really happy with, for, uh, with those guys at Line-to-Line. -line. They did a great job. Yeah, so there's a little tech tip for you guys who are watching the Engine Performance Expo. Thanks for watching. What a day, what a day, what a day. But yeah, my brain, my brain is swollen. I've learned so much today. They told us, don't start cars. We are not going to listen.